This is the third and final film of a series for Amplify Change grantees and applicants who are planning an advocacy campaign. It will help you build your campaign plan through a step-by-step -step guide to facilitating discussion on message development, tactical planning, and risk assessments. This film will also guide you through applying the results of your group discussions to an Amplify Change grant or application. Step 1. Develop messages. Now you are ready to take your list of priorities, and while referring to the evidence you've gathered, the problem tree, and influence map, craft messages to persuade the various decision makers and influencers. When possible, we recommend that you use a mixture of statistics and individual examples to tell a story about why the changes you want to make are necessary. Make sure to adapt your messages to each individual decision maker based on their own stakes and responsibilities. Ask yourself, what arguments are more likely to have an impact on each decision maker? Is it economic growth and public spending? Is it testimonies? If possible, find a member of your group who already has a positive relationship with your target decision maker to deliver the message. This could be someone they know personally or by reputation, or someone who because of their achievements or life story brings with them credibility on the issue. In some cases, this could make the difference between success and failure in convincing the decision maker. Step two. Tactical planning. You are now ready to write an action plan describing precisely what activities, steps, or tactics you will need to meet your objectives and to devise a schedule. Make sure everybody is clear about who is responsible for which actions and who is responsible for ensuring that each one of the milestones is met on time. Step three, assessing risks. There may be risks associated with your advocacy tactics but there may also be risks associated with not taking action. Questions to ask your group when assessing risks include, what risks are possible? What is a risk? For example, the reputation of a campaign or the risk to campaign members or their families. What is the potential impact of the risk? What could you do to prevent or mitigate the risk and what is the level of risk after you have taken the mitigating measures? With your colleagues and fellow advocates, Consider the potential key risks. Assess the level of impact from major to minor and the likelihood of the risk occurring from rare to very likely. This will allow you to prioritize your risks. With your partners, outline the measures you will use to mitigate these risks. But if a risk is very likely with a major impact, you should rethink your tactics. In your Amplify Change application or your Amplify Change grant portal, you will find a specifically designed tool to help you log and track risks related to your project. You're now ready to begin delivering your advocacy campaign, but remember that advocacy is best when it is nimble and responds to constantly changing political situations. You can continue to collaborate to update your strategy as the project evolves, and adapt your tactics as you measure your project success against its SMART objectives and milestones. SMART means they are specific, not a general statement of intent, but a more precise objective. Measurable, you can measure changes and achievements of objectives or milestones. Achievable, keep it realistic. Perhaps you don't think you can change the law, but you can make steps in that direction, as long as you are specific about what those steps are. Results-based, you are aiming to achieve something, Describe achievable milestones en route to bigger objectives. Time bound. You have an idea of when you want to achieve these objectives. It's also important to designate someone who will be responsible for updating the strategy. Step four. Apply the outcomes you've decided on and the stakeholder maps you've drawn to the management of an Amplify Change grant. When choosing your indicators to measure your Amplify Change project, Select our core indicator, PL 0.1, undertaking rigorous advocacy planning, including policy mapping, audience analysis, decision-making pathways, in order to structure and target advocacy activities logically for sexual and reproductive health and rights policy change. You can now move on to setting specific objectives. These should be SMART, 
You should consider each of these factors when writing your project's indicators and milestones, whether you are already a grantee or an applicant. Objectives should be specific. You should be able to provide answers to the questions, what is to be done, how will we know it's done, and describe the results of each action. The clearer your goals, the easier it is to measure your achievements. For each objective, you should be clear about how it will address one of the causes of the problem and how it is moving you closer to completing your mission. If this isn't clear, it's probably not relevant to your project. If you're unsure whether an objective is measurable, ask yourself if you will know precisely when you have achieved it. Will there be a moment when you can definitively say that the task is now finished? If not, the goal might not be sufficiently measurable. Ensure you will be able to provide verifiable evidence that you have reached your objective. Goals should be simultaneously achievable and ambitious. Ask if you have the experience, knowledge, and capacity to achieve the measurable specific goals you've just written down. Equally, consider if it will challenge your group and push the limits of what you are capable of. Finally, you should have an idea of when a goal will be completed by. This way, you will know on an ongoing basis if you are on target to hit the eventual outcomes of your project and be able to monitor if adjustments are needed.